As soon as I push record, the garbage man shows up. It's, it's a pleasure. Oh my gosh, she's gonna take forever. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna color this gem here in the book Seasons by Hannah Carlson. We love us some Hannah Carlson around here. So I have pulled some purples. These are beautiful purples from the Black Widows. And I was able to get most of them in the Cobra set, but the black is in the dark skin tones. So yeah, I will link those in the description box down below. Let's start with our lightest color. That's going to be the tulip. And we are going to just do a nice little base coat with the tulip. We're not going to worry about these highlight areas that she's indicated. We'll put those back in at the end. This color we just want down. Okay, now that we have that lightest color down, let's grab one of our darkest colors. This is Space. Uh, yeah, from the Cobra space. And we're gonna kind of, um, we're just gonna map out some dark color here. So we're gonna try to stay pretty close to the edges, but we can bring this in too. But we do want it on the edge. Okay, so we have that around the outside here. Now we want to, we can pull this in a few places. I'm staying pretty light-handed because we can always darken things up later. But we just kind of want to give this some interest. So we'll kind of pull some of these, pull it in in a few places. Maybe we could even like have this kind of come back. Okay, we're gonna go to the grape and we're going to go over the top of the space and kind of blend it out a little bit on the edges. Again, we're not worried about that white highlight there. We're just gonna pretend it's not there and pull this right past it. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on these. Okay, so we've kind of connected it, but we have like these nice highlights in here too. Okay, so now let's go to the purple haze and we're gonna do the same thing, like put it back here, 
I'm gonna want to darken that edge up. I just think it's not dark enough, but we'll do that in a minute. And then just keep filling it in, making these little white areas smaller and smaller. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back to the space and I really want to darken up this edge. So I'm gonna use a little more pressure and be just a little more particular with it. I think gems and metals, when you're coloring it both, you want to um, put a lot of emphasis into the contrast. So you want darks to be really dark and you want lights to be really light and you want that contrast to make it look shiny. Luxe, that's what we want, so. Okay, so we've got that um, dark around the edge there. I really like that. We could bring some of that dark up, but I am really liking kind of the color combination that we do have going on. So I'm not gonna darken it too much. I really like that, okay. I'm going to grab the grape and just blend out that harsh edge that we made just a little bit, not too much, but a little, just soften it up a little bit. Okay. And then let's grab that tulip that we started with and let's kind of put that all over the center again. Making sure that we have those highlights because we've kind of created three. We have like this highlight, this one, and this one. Okay, so we don't want to lose that but we do want to blend all those colors. Okay. And then this is important, we take that black, this is called Midnight, and it is gonna go right in that edge, right deep dark down in there to create that depth that this is inset into something else.
All right, let's grab a white gel pen or a white Posca paint pen or even just some white acrylic paint. But we want our white to be white. We want that really high highlight. So we're gonna put that in where she has indicated. Okay, so I'm trying to take out that kind of that line if I can. Sometimes you have to kind of build the gel pen up to kind of cover that line, but I don't love that line. And then that also gives us our nice highlight. All right, you guys, I love this. This is a great gem to practice on because it is so big and beautiful. So play with different colors, but the whole concept is still the same where you want your darks and then lights and then some in the middle there. So yes, I love it. Could play with it forever, but it is beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. If you like these shorter videos, give it a thumbs up. And remember to make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can see every time I'm posting because it's getting wild over here with all the posts. So please do that. I hope you guys have an awesome week. Find time to relax, throw some color around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.